Just cause I got shot on the East Coast, I'm like fuck the East Coast, yeah, you know. Right. Half the rappers from the East Coast was there when I got shot. Nobody knew a thing. That's just like you coming to the hood and the police ask them what happened, mm -hmm. and everybody's like, I don't know. You know they lying. Mm -hmm. And all I was doing was like, give me my proper etiquette. Mm -hmm. If Biggie was out here on the West Coast, he was in the studio with me and we homeboys, and he got shot. No, I wouldn't tell him who did it, but he would want. I wouldn't go ride on niggas who did it, but he want to know who did it. Mm -hmm. Then I'd be like, look, man, these niggas from Watts did it. Boom, this is why they want to talk to you. Wham, wham, wham. That's how I do it. Just like when the niggas from the 60s wanted to get a trash. I went to them personally and talked to them. Mm -hmm. I do it by the rules of etiquette. So I got shy. I'm like, yo, what happened? Come see me in jail. Biggie all in the air to my ear pop is my homeboy wound, but not seeing me. My homeboy Stretch is going to Biggie's concerts. Niggas is like abandoning me. But all in the air and on TV, they like, yeah, pop, rest, you know, keep the struggle on. I was like, yo, I'm starting to turn into like Slick Rick. Niggas is just gonna act like I'ma just be in jail and they gonna give me shout outs and try to take my position. And if you watch, that's what Biggie did. Listen to his, I, I, I was there, nigga, I trained the nigga, he used to be under me like my lieutenant. The nigga, I used to come to New York, I used to do shows and let the nigga come on before I did keep your head up and get around. Because nobody knew the nigga in New York. Mm -hmm. And I used to tell a nigga, yo, if you hey, want to make your money, I'm, I'm, you got to rap for the bitches. Do not rap for the niggas. Yeah, I told yeah, a nigga, don't rap for the niggas. Rap for the problem. bitches. The bitches will buy your records and the niggas want what the bitches want. So all of a sudden, he changed from being, listen to party and bullshit. Listen to his style. He changed from that to Big Pop. Yeah. Because of me. He had my album, Me Against the World, was the second one. He had the first one. I changed everything because Ready to Die came out and it sounded like my album. All my album was about, you know, dealing with death. And then he came out ready to die and I had to switch it. Wow. That's why it was less East Coast rap, East Coast beats, because Biggie had just took my shit. That's what, but you can listen to it. That's what, that, that was a success, too, because he took, like, listen. West Coast sound. We flipped and, and I told him that. I told you know? him that I trained. He was supposed to be, he was supposed to be thug life. All while he was coming up, I used to let him come on stage with me. He was screaming thug life. Hey, cause I he was like, I hate Canadian. Brooklyn, I hate New York. I'm out with them niggas puppy cheating me. Woo, woo, woo. All of a sudden, he blew up, and he wasn't saying thug life. So I started getting mad, and I was seeing the niggas play. He was hugging me, yo, pop. Yo, thank you, he was the only nigga that woo, woo, woo. But he, and he told me, like, about a week before I got shot, he knew the nigga that was shot me. He was like, pop, don't hang around this nigga. He don't mean, you know, I'll be walked in with the nigga that shot me. I ended up shooting me. He's like, pop, don't fuck with this nigga, because I knew the nigga too. He was my Cody fan. And uh, I was like, what you mean? He's like, I'll talk to you about it later. And we didn't talk. The next time I saw him was at the studio where I got shot. So I knew he knew what happened. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Biggie, what happened? He kept sending me messages like a bitch, you know, like, I'm going to come see you. No, nigga, what happened? While I'm in jail, strangers is telling me, yo, you don't know? Biggie homeboy shot you. Because they bragging. They telling they niggas in jail. Yo, we just got pop. Woo, 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 woo. And my cousin was in jail in New York because I got family out there. He sit right there while the niggas get in the car going, yo, my homeboys just jacked that nigga too pop. So that's how I knew who shot me, what happened, and everything. They mad because I know what happened. That's why they all, you know, it's big enough, they're not yeah. rotten. That's why what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. I'm destroying them. I fucked his wife. I'm fucking them in the game. I'm destroying them. He lives by the rules of the game. He lives off a mafia image. I'm bringing him, showing how he, he totally disregards the rules of the game. And he's everything but a mafia nigga. Reinventing it. Right, I'm showing them. You know what I mean? Like, like if anybody's a mafia nigga, me, nigga. I fucked your bitch, I took five shots, I went in your crew. I mean, I just what? Mm -hmm. I went to New York. They don't do shows out here. I went, I did Saturday Night Live. Y'all forgot. Live in New York where everybody knew I was gonna be there on stage, no problems. Went to the clubs, everything. In the middle with my West Side ride. You know what I mean? Because I'm real about it. I don't hate New York. But if y'all don't understand it, then fuck it, you get rolled over too. Because I hear y'all, I was in jail and I heard what they were saying on the radio. You know how we got the Wake That's Up Show? Like right, yeah, you know, yeah, they got yeah, their yeah. own shows. They got their little mixed shows with Red Alert, this nigga and that nigga, and, and um, what's his name, um, Flex. And I swear to God, dog, they used to diss the West Coast. They had these commercials where they'd be like, hey, dog, what's up, dog? And I used to be like, in jail in New York on my radio, like, oh, shit. <laughs> You know how you would feel if you heard your homeboy oh. went home and just clowned you? And I was like, oh, man. Oh, and all my homeboys like, yo, puppy just did a show out here. I was like, how was it? It's like, good, we gave him love, we gave him this, we gave him that. He was talking all this unity shit. But then when they go home, they be popping. Q-tip, they made all these underground tapes dissing us. Q-tip? Yes, Q-tip. So then when niggas ride back, 
Then they want to talk about the culture and be hip hop ish again. But that's not fair. Mm -hmm. How you gonna be bold? And that's what they all do. They all play badasses. Thank you for the food. They just diss me on, on the L M P P. Food you diss you? They're not personally just the West Coast. They just diss my food. They're like California love. The East Side is the best side. Oh, I see them. All them niggas is talking about how much they respect me and love me. See, I hate that. Because, because I be they, dead serious. That's one thing when they say that's no XL is talking about. He got a rhyme, well, you know how you always got these little metaphors. He said, you'll get fucked like Tupac did in jail. Now I'm telling y'all beforehand, off the air, I'm gonna beat this nigga's ass. And everybody's gonna be talking about how wrong I am and how I haven't changed. But what am I supposed to do when a nigga disrespected my manhood like that? See what I mean? It's like I can't get out the game. Just like I'm saying, just like Scarface and that Carlito. Way I want to be legit. I've got we got restaurants coming up with Alanis Morissette, me, Snoop, Sugar, and Alanis nice. Morissette open up a restaurant. Alanis is nice. I'm doing a soundtrack. Cool. My first soundtrack. I'm the music supervisor for this movie. I'm doing. Woo! I got Alanis on there, Michelle, in Kalashia, whatever name. All these, all these, she all these nice stars coming out. All this shit coming up. But what's gonna reign supreme in '96 and '97 is the ride I'm doing. And it's not even like, I feel like I'm doing it for hip hop. All I'm trying to do is get the imposters out. I remember Biggie sleeping on my couch. I remember begging bitches to fuck him. <laughs> oh! You feel me? Yeah. So, Big Papa don't mean nothing to me. He know it. He know it. That's why he can't fight me. That's why he can't battle me. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I can make know, songs you know talking exactly about yeah. him. And he can't talk about me because he know. He know you I'm know the one that used to color. buy him champagne. All that shit he talking, yeah. that was me buying him that. He talking about my lifestyle with his album. Because when he was doing his album, he was broke, nigga. I was having money. I, the, the shit he talked about was my life. <laughs> Thug life, that's what he talking about. All that junior mafia, them niggas was young motherfuckers that used to hang around that I used to give money to to get on a train to go home at night. Little season and all of them. And Kim and all of them. Yeah, so now they rapping against me and you can imagine how I fucking feel. Mm -hmm. When, when I got arrested in New York, I got arrested for Biggie. Them guns in my room was Biggie's guns because them cowards left the room when they heard the police was downstairs and everybody left their guns in my room. So I got four guns in my room. Serial numbers scratched out, and I did not snitch. I took that case, mm -hmm. so you can imagine how I feel when I'm in jail for that case. And he out there living a mafia lifestyle, giving me no money, giving me no respect, giving me no tribute. Rolling with my road dog, who was there when I got shot. I mean, come on, man. I'm not paranoid. Mm -hmm. I'm not paranoid. Nah, nah, Y'all yeah. niggas know what time it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you what it is is that the East Coast drug dealers got the niggas as extortion. Mm -hmm. I came and fucked up everything. Cause I dissed the niggas in the Daily News, they put a hit out on me. When a nigga tried to rob me, which is all they wanted to do, I knew what they told me. That's what they was telling me. Pop. They were sending me messages through my closest road dog saying, Pop, why did you fight them? They were just coming to take your shit. But I wouldn't let nobody take my shit, and I was strapped that day. That's what was I couldn't put in the body. I had two, two double glocks on me. And when I pulled for my shit, that's when I got shot. Actually, and the reason I knew my homeboy set me up is because my homeboys knew I was strapped. The dudes came straight for me. My homeboys is behind the niggas. Like, they running for swag. My homeboys behind the niggas, and they didn't do nothing. They knew I was strapped. All they had to do was grab the nigga, and I could have boxed. But they got guns, so these niggas are coming for me, and these niggas just sitting there. And they said, get, and these niggas dropped to the floor. I knew it was a setup. Nobody come downstairs to after them shot. And then after you shot, now how did we after you shot, you went up there, they looked at you like you was a ghost? Yo, when I walked upstairs, sway on everything <laughs> I love, I seen it in their eyes. I can never describe this look, but to you get shot and you see yourself. Mm -hmm. Niggas look at me like this. I walked out the elevator, because I walked out the elevator, I didn't know I was shot in my head or nothing. I, I wasn't they said in the vibe and I was acting like I was in the movie. Mm -hmm. What they really trying to say is this nigga is raw. I got shot five times, came upstairs, did not know I had got shot five times. I thought I only got shot once. Yeah, dude, sound like you got a lot on your chest. I and mean, that's why I'm giving you. you straight raw, because you got to go back mm -hmm. and tell them the shit that we ain't recording. I'm giving you that, you know, not to tell them the specifics, but you but know when somebody calls you, go, yeah. yo, why did you do this? You know, they go, trust me, we talk to them, we know, mm -hmm. blam, blam, blam. Now, 
mad y'all know. You know what I mean? Just like they niggas on they radio stations know. Because what I was mad at is that we didn't have a radio station like that. Me and Snoop got okay from 92.3 to start West Side Radio. Mm-hmm. But I, didn't, I, I don't want to do it unless it's right. What I really just wanted, I was just proving the point again. I want our radio stations to be true to us. And we'll be true to y'all. Tell us. Nigga, you know, you know if you what? want that type of love, you better give us some commercials every week. We want new shit like they do on the East Coast. 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 East Coast